good morning. Uh, so today we've got some cows that have been getting off the forest where we want them, getting back down in one of our meadows. So we've just got some poles loaded up, some jacks, and we're gonna head up there. I've got a cowboy over there right now who's running the cows back out of the meadow. And we're gonna see if we can just fix this fence at least long enough till we're done on that allotment and we can move the cows out of there. If you've never built a jack and pole fence, a lot of jack and pole fences have 20 foot long poles for your runners. And these are what the jacks looks like before they go together. I'll show you how we put them together. Got the old trusty 96, gonna pull us up there. It's just kind of been muddy, so we got our boots on. And we might get wet, but it's gonna be a nice day.
our main problem right here. Better get open. Better check this out first. This is a spring on our place here. say about 75% of the herd was out was out of where they were supposed to be this is Wes's last day of work up here he's heading back to Arizona to help some people we know down there he's their range rider for him out on the Arizona Strip He's been up here, he helped night cab and helped doctor for us. So he's done a great job and hopefully he'll come back this winter, this next winter. I'm using two kinds of screws. This is my long, I think this is a seven or eight inch. This is just a six inch. I just use one for the, use the long one for the big end and the other one for the small end. Talking to me. I'm talking to the camera. Is that screw actually for that? It is. It is? Good. Now we used to drive all of these with spikes and by hand, pound them with an at the, end, the other side of an ax or Big hammer. I don't know how many spikes we drove building jack and pole fence like this, but these screws are a game changer. What did you do? I killed it. Man. Poor worm. <clears throat> I took its bullet. You killed that worm with your bare hands? Wow, you're tough. Holy cow. Alright. Didn't even bite him. No, <laughs> the worm didn't even bite him. Nice, cut that baby off of there. Yeah, fix out here. Sticks out here in the road. So now we'll shut this gate and we'll go fix the really bad we spot. Cut this off. No, that's good. That's okay. So I didn't really know what we'd need when we got over here. I mean, we got enough material to do this. Uh, normally I'd bring a backhoe in here and pull all this dead stuff out and make a pile like that that we could burn later. <laughs> you all right? So anyway, I'm gonna try and cut these pieces out. See if I can just manhandle them out of here because it would look a lot nicer 
there's just man there's all these sharp bushes and stuff that's what i'm not certain i'm up for i'm gonna cut this one right here Yeah. When are we gonna go home? Uh, when we're done, buddy. We got some work to do here yet. When are we gonna be done? Uh, man, we've got a new fence built here. What time will we be going home? Uh, let's say 12.30 in time for lunch. Ew. That work for you? Barely. So we're going to put <laughs> a jack together. Okay. You got one. Let's get it. Find out where it goes. That sounds weird. All right. I'll do this one. That's strong. Yeah, super strong. Uh, you're not the strongest guy in the world. The heck I'm not. I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Okay, actually Jesus is. Because he can move a mountain. Really? You're going to pull that card? Okay, you're right. Okay, now I gotta put that other jack together. Take it right here in the middle. Oh, you're scary. I know. You're not always scary. Not always. Just when you won't go to bed, huh? <laughs> you're not scary for a monster. Uh, you don't want to be scary for a monster? Nope. I think I like just being dad. Can I just be dad? Is that cool? Yeah. Alright. You know what I wish? I wish I could, I wish someday I could work at night. You want to work the night shift? Yeah. Well, we bail hay at night. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Because I never got to do it. Okay. So I hope it's bedtime before we get done. Yeah, everyone will be in bed and you'll be out there bailing hay. No, and I'll like, be... And you'll have snacks and you'll be like listening to some cool tunes. <sighs>
Nice hustle. Okay, put it back on the trailer. Good job, buddy. Well, we got this little spot fixed up for right now. It's not exactly what we wanted when the, with our finished product, but it's gonna do a lot better than what was here. It'll hold them out. I actually ran out of poles. I don't have a rub pole for the backside just yet. I'll have to bring one back over next time I'm coming through. But couldn't pick a prettier spot to work in today. Wes is down there kinda, well he was giving those cows a push. <laughs> 